Well, there's one steer that drew quite the fame more than a century ago, so I'm even calling the steer an object of wonder. This weekend, we travel the countryside with Andrew McCray to find the story behind Big Ben. Beef producers are usually looking for an efficient, high-quality steer to feed. Perhaps none was better than a calf raised near Kokomo, Indiana. Old Ben was born in 1902. He was born on the farm uh, owned by John and Mike Murphy. The offspring of a Hereford bull and a shorthorn cow, Ben soon became a steer, but his rate of growth was astonishing. He weighed 125 pounds at birth and was gaining 100 pounds per month. Ben's owners realized they had a steer that was more valuable than something for future steaks and hamburger. At age four, um, the farmers would take him to local county fairs and festivals to show him off on exhibit um, and to the Indiana State Fair where he was um, shown annually um, for people just to, to see and to be amazed. At four years of age, Ben tipped the scales at two tons. He had become such a celebrity that a local railroad ran a spur route to the farm to help with his travel circuit. And we do know that there were some circus owners and uh, sideshow owners that were interested in buying him, uh, but they refused their offers. Ben was quite an attraction, drawing crowds wherever he went, but a winter incident put an end to those shows. And then in 1910, that February, he was eight years old, and unfortunately there was an accident. He slipped on some ice, broke his leg. It was agreed that Ben should be put down. Veterinary science in 1910 was not what it is today. But his farmer owners had a taxidermist preserve Ben for future generations to see. At the time of his death, Ben was 16 feet from nose to tail, six and a half feet tall at his shoulder, and weighed close to 4,800 pounds. Eventually, Ben was acquired by the city of Kokomo. A pavilion was built in the city's Highland Park, where Ben resides today. Old Ben is truly a big Ben, the largest steer on record. Yes, as far as we know, um, that re world record still remains. Um, back in, I believe, the 1960s. Uh, Ripley used him in an exhibit of Ripley's Believe It or Not, um, which the city allowed. Um, but as far as we know today, that record remains. Today's cattlemen are still looking for the best genetics to produce fast-gaining animals. But over a century later, it's old Ben that still tops the record books as the world's largest steer. Traveling the countryside in Kokomo, Indiana, I'm Andrew McCray. Andrew always has quite the stories, and you could see more of his American Countryside travels on the Farm Journal YouTube channel. All right, up next, the balance or rebalance of trade. What happens if the ag trade balance goes negative?